Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. We are gonna go through mm, this bag of jewelry. I have Moonstone Mamas, Devin with me, and she is gonna help me. Again, I found her by, she, she left a comment in my video helping me identify a necklace, and I'm like, hey, do you wanna come on and help me identify some jewelry? Because obviously, if you watched my video, I'm a little clueless. So I watched some of her videos and I'm like, this girl knows what she's talking about. I mean, she's not like a gemologist or a specialist or anything, but hey, you know, we're gonna go through this stuff together and she's gonna give us some hints and tips and tricks to help us identify jewelry. I'm gonna pull up her channel and let her say a few words here, um, maybe. All right, Moonstone Mamas. All right, go ahead and give them a little info you on your it. channel. You got it. I am a mother daughter duo. My mom and I um, run the channel. We have, uh, we do jewelry unboxings. We do live jewelry auctions, pretty much anything to do with jewelry. We do. I'm not a personal fan of jewelry. I like to wear it every once in a while, but my favorite part of jewelry is the detective work. So when she asked me to come on here and help her identify some stones, I was like, heck yes, let's do it. I can do let's this do all day long. Yes. Yes. And this is video three. So we are moving right along. Um, I was like, let's just do like three, four videos, like a half an hour each. And, and I only release them on Mondays, as you guys know, and I'm looking at this and I'm wondering if this little piece right here might say nine to five. I think it does. It does. It here. And it's vintage. I think we'll start with this piece. How about that? Yay. Um, Here's the necklace. Ooh. And the clasp does, it's stamped 925 on the back. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that. Ooh. That's and a nice one. Front. Oh. Yeah. So um, it is, oh yeah, here we go. I was like, it doesn't, so is that a vintage clasp? Yes, most okay. definitely even with the print on it? Yes. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, jewelry's made all over the world. Do you think that those are pearls? Um, they may be, um, like potato pearls or freshwater pearls, maybe a lower end quality pearl. Um, and then you have, it looks like- I'm rubbing them together like you told me to. Mm -hmm. That's one way for sure to tell, especially if you don't wanna rub them against your teeth. Yeah. Um, I don't know where this jewelry's been, so I'm definitely not going to rub it against my teeth. I, it, it feels a little gritty, but it's hard for me to tell. And then that's, I don't know. Rose quartz. What is it? Rose quartz, pink quartz. Okay. And that looks, okay. So what do you think? That's a good one. I'd say starting probably 25, especially because it's Asian influenced and it's vintage. Now you say it's Asian influenced based on this class. Yes. Is that where you're getting that? Okay. Okay. All right. So it would, I, I don't know if I would call it pearl because I don't know. I'd have to get that verified, right? I would say so. Yeah. Unless you can definitely for sure rub them together and feel the grittiness. Yeah. I need to compare it to something that's not gritty, you know, just so yes. I can start to get an idea because I'm not real uh, schooled. Now this it's just a bead, it looks mm -hmm. like. Oh, nope, it's a magnet. Oh, fancy. That to me just looks like, kind of looks like glass, to be honest. Okay, let me, uh, I forgot to shrink you. There we go. Um, okay, so I'll put the tester on it and we'll see. It, no, it's something. Ooh, okay. Um, it's, it's up in the jadeite spinal spinal. Interesting. But it's also kind of hitting the amethyst, citrine, and quartz. I was going to say, if it wasn't glass, it's probably dyed quartz. Okay, it's really a neat um, color, and I love the magnet. Yes, it's a more modern piece, but still, nonetheless, it's beautiful. Perfect for proms, perfect for special yeah. occasions. Okay. Um, artisan, maybe? 
for sure. Yes. Um, I don't know what it is. It looks like wood and then it has some natural shell. Uh, it's, I don't think it's wood. Well, okay. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. You're talking about the brown part, right? Maybe it is. Oh, golly. Sorry. I'm trying to. That's okay. Yeah. It looks like, um, either wood or natural, some kind of natural element. Does it show up better that way? Yes, it does. It looks like you have some like copper um, findings and findings are just the clasp and such. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I would say that that's probably dyed halite and some, some kind of natural element, whether it be wood yeah, or chalk. It's almost chalky. Mm -hmm. Interesting. But it's got little spacers in between it. Interesting. To give it like that. So it doesn't, hmm. I don't know. Okay. It's kind of cool looking. Yeah. I feel like that mm -hmm. looks like one that I've pulled out before. Mm -hmm. It's got the barrel clasp. It's vintage for sure. Um, it's beautiful. Um, I'd say it's either quartz, Amazonite, or adventurine. Um. And I know that, but um, it's going all the way up to the jadeite and the spinel thing again. But now this stone is only going to the interesting quartz, amethyst, and citrine. So it really depends on. I mean, it's, that, this looks like a vintage clasp to me. Yes, like that one aged, you know. But um, yes. it's got kind of a. It has some glitter look. Oh. Kind of. Does it have um, an underlying um, like white kind of stripes in it? Mm, don't see that. I don't know if it's glittery or if it just looks crackled. It's pr If it's probably, if it's a, like a crackly look, chances are it's been dyed. And especially if the crackle has the darker pigment in it. But that, I think it might be like a dyed quartz. Okay. That could be, that makes sense. Okay. And this has the same, it almost looks like the same clasp as that one, identical. Yes. I. Those are pretty common. I believe they were like mass produced in the 60s. Okay. Um, they have a variety, um, like, just natural stones from, as you can see, the smaller beads, the kind of nugget looking beads. Those are, those are pretty good. I have those listed for about mm, 22, $24 because of the length and the carat weight of the stones on my Etsy. And this would just be like a multicolored gemstone necklace. Absolutely. The barrel clasp. Uh huh. Ooh. You got it. All right. Uh, stretch bracelet. That is a cha-cha style bracelet. Cha-cha? Cha-cha. Okay, it's got like, I mean, some charms. Oh, a little Christmas tree or a tree. <laughs> oh, and a car. Stuff. I think that's a nice. feather, maybe. Mm -hmm. So is that good if there's little carved things? Yes, because someone took the time to Look carve that it. that little flower. Can Adorable. Love that. Yeah, that flower is cute. So I this is a cha-cha? Cha cha. Any kind of when it makes it. Hey, you know what I have a bunch of? I may have to bring you back for another video. It's um belly dancer jewelry. Oh my gosh. I have oh, a whole bag. Maybe we'll do that another night because I haven't really gone through it. This I think it's I can't tell. It's got a pink tint to it. Quartz. Rose quartz. <laughs> I'm getting it. Okay, this is one of those, um, what do you call these? Memory wire. Memory wire. Okay, it's one of those bracelets. It's got some, bundle it with something. Yes. Okay. That's what I've been doing with those. Uh, bundle it. 
most likely died. Little hearts. Oh, you know, right. I have a, I, to me. I have a lot of kids items. I'm going to put it with that because it kind of looks like something a little kid would wear that I'm going to sell in bulk. Oh, like kids items. Yeah. This one is hard. It, it's beautiful. Um, it's kind of has a purplish but royal blue color to it. It's really not showing up like it really looks to me. It's really neat. It's really pretty. That's that probably really pretty. So it's just chips, like gemstone chips, would you call it? For sure. Um, because I can't really see like the it's so sometimes you lose so much in yeah. you know in the video. Um, even when you're showing it like even on my channel, you lose so much sometimes you don't get it. When you see it in person, you're like, oh my gosh. I'm gonna stunning. go with like a royalish, like it's got some royal blue hues to it. Definitely quartz. Now we've got I love those kind of necklaces. <laughs> we've got this one. Mm -hmm. It's got the barrel, but it's yep. just multi-stone, multi-colored yep. gemstone necklace. Yep. Now, would you put, um, when you say how many inches it is, or mm -hmm. if I, do I go by the folded length, like 20 inches? I'd go by the full, the full length. Okay, so you take it apart and measure it as long as it goes, and that's how you tell the length. Well, I um, I put it on my ruler, and then I add two. <laughs> I times it by two. <laughs> so, oh, so you put it this, just half, and then multiply it. Okay, yes. makes sense. Like I do with pants. Yes. Okay. Um, just a green. <gasps> Beautiful. I believe that is malachite. But that's not on my thing either. No. <laughs> is that a type? Malachite of, is really. It's what? It's really sought after. Really? It's really sought after. Um, I've sold quite a bit of Malachite on my um, channel. And on my Etsy. Yes. Like you feel confident. Malachite. Malachite. Okay. Um. I know I'm putting you on the spot because it's so, uh, it's hard to tell from probably the video, but it's, it's, I mean, it's green. It's beautiful. Some people, I mean, really, you know, have a, a absolute interest in Malachite. I love Malachite. Malachite sells really well for me. On like Etsy. price range. Price range. I would say um, between starting out probably 15, $18, just because the length and the carat weight. I'm trying to rub these together. Those are pearls. They're potato pearls. Potato and pearls. I can tell they're potato pearls because they look like potatoes. <laughs> and they're very, um, they're not all shaped the same. No. And there's no clasp. And. They may have a coating on them. Um, they tend to do that a lot with lower quality pearls. There's no knots. Is that okay? Can they still be real without yep. having knots? Absolutely. Yep. This is just costume, right? Yes. Yes. Toggle, <laughs> not worth much. Um. Well, it depends if the it's toggle, not a toggle is. It's, um, it's a clasp. Looks like a J a, Crew, like a boat raft thing that you throw in the water to. Oh, it's Mark 925, I think. What? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cool. It's marked on the, the, the part that opens. Okay. That little piece. I love your little. What's that? Magnifier. I love your little loop. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> um. Now, I know that they say sometimes if there's a spring, it'll stick. Do you think those are pearls? Uh, quite possibly. My thing is, is 925 doesn't mean that it's always real, you know? Correct. It could be plated. It, it's uh, leaving a mark. 
Oh, when I rub the pearls things together. So it looks like amethyst and then it may be real pearls. It just depends. But I would say that that's still a costume piece. It yeah, seems it's like falling, it's falling under amethyst on the thing. Yeah. That someone probably almost, um, you see how it goes like dark to light? Yes. Is it's that a normal? Band uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. So purple. It's, yeah. So I was going to say it's coming across a bit purple. So I'd say that that's amethyst as well. Okay. It has some um, some grays. Mm -hmm. Also, just a. That looks like soda light. Anything? Um, yeah. I mean, of course you're gonna want to bundle them together to okay. make, you know. So just maybe make a lot of gemstone um bracelets okay. for sure. Like a little elephant. Cute. Um that looks like glass to me. Yeah. Um It's not going to glass. It's some, yeah, it's some type of stone. Interesting. But it's hitting like four different markers. When it's so just full of color like that, mm -hmm. it always implies that it's dyed. Yeah, it's that definitely is. dyed. It's got like a flaky, like it's oh, white on the inside. A lower end quality piece. Okay. And this is its friend. It's turtle. Oh, it friend. The elephant's friend, the turtle. Cute. That's dyed it's, highlight. It's got the the beaded. So these are a set. There it is. Boom. People like that stuff though. You know, wow. little animals. Little critters. Oh, it's so hard to tell. Yeah, that one's not that's it has some baby blue tint to it. Let me see if I can get it in front of here. Does that help you? Yes, I think you have a piece of Larimar there. Larimar is money. That is one I would definitely see about getting double checked. Um, it may be wire wrapped in sterling silver. Um, Larimar is only found in one place, the Dominican Republic. Um, that could be your money right there. Like what's money? It, it really just depends on the quality of the Larimar, but Larimar is very sought after. Okay. It, it's almost like it's been, um, etched out so that it, Maybe like it's it's got a groove, like they've mm -hmm. grooved it out to fit this wire in there. Is that possible? Yes, it could okay. been it could be artisan wrapped. Yeah, it's not sticking. It's definitely one that I would check out. Larimar is Larimar. Larimar. Yeah, it's. I mean, it is a really. It looks like clouds, maybe. <laughs> it's okay. what? Does it look like clouds? Yeah, it's really the stone. Yeah. Once I saw the matrixing there, I was like, oh. Yeah, I, what's that big black thing up there? It's where the natural um, stone grows. Okay. The outside crust of the rock, if you this will. This is just a multi stone chips strand. Blah. Okay. Um, this has got a barrel. You got yourself some cherry quartz there. Cherry quartz, huh? Is that good? It's in the rose quartz family. <laughs> so is it like any value? I guess that's what um, I, when I say, is it good? It's about the same as any other kind of quartz. <laughs> okay. I mean, I'd still start it off at like $15. Oh, on no. my end. 
Yeah. Okay. This is weird. Very tribal. Interesting. It's definitely vintage, um, but it's weird. I'll show you in a second. Oh, it's got, it's got some writing on it. I'll have to look at the clasp here. Ooh. I don't yeah. know what it's made of though. Does it feel cold? <laughs> Is what I automatically go to. Does it have some weight to it? <laughs> it says, Why are I F A R I? It oh maybe it's Trifari. Oh, Trifari. But it looks like the T has like a crown or something. Yeah, so that would indicate that it is a vintage crown Trifari piece. Okay, and it's it, it's weird because it's got like the clasp. So did it used to have like a little chain? No, my guess is that they. They uh, put the barrel clasp there. Okay. So I don't know what this is made of. It kind of looks like shell. Quite possibly. Especially if it's a crown trafari piece. Is crown trafari good or? Some pieces go for quite some bit of money. What do you it think about this piece? Kind of. I'm not too familiar with crown trafari. Okay. Look at that. <laughs> I should be able to look that up pretty easily. Yeah. 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 This is just toggle. Mm -hmm. Yep. It could be glass. I'm thinking it's probably quartz. It's going past quartz like it does every time. Okay, I don't know. Um, but either way, it's not anything. I wouldn't say it's a showstopper. Okay, we're at 22 minutes. So let's, um, we'll end this one and we'll do one more with the rest of the stuff that's in there. Okay. And so you guys stay tuned for next Monday because um, I'm going to have her on for at least four videos, you guys. So super exciting. I'm learning a lot. Um, I'm still very confused, but I told you guys that I was going to learn and that I know nothing and that's what I'm doing. So um, put your questions, put your comments down in the description and make sure that you go over and check out Moonstone Mamas and you can put questions there. I'm sure she'd be happy to help you also. Love to. But um, we are going to stay in touch. And you guys know that I have 350 pounds of jewelry and I have started selling it off. So that's good news. So yeah, um, I'll see you guys at the next video. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And be sure to subscribe to Moonstone Mamas because she is awesome. All right. Thanks, you guys. And I'll see you soon. All right. And broadcast.